This is one thing we do in the office is after a consultation, after the exam, we sit down with you and we explain how we handle all the finance stuff. So as we're doing this, um, you know, sometimes people will say, you know, well, I'm on the Dave Ramsey program. Well, here's what I can tell you about the Dave Ramsey program. First off, I agree with about 95% of it, but there is a 5% that we have a big issue with because I do think people should be on a budget. Number one, if you, you don't overspend what you make, right? I mean, that's kind of common sense math. If you overspend what you make, you can't do it for very long. Something's gonna, somewhere you're gonna give, it's gonna be a problem. So don't overspend. But number two, you need to invest in things that promote your health for number one, because what good is millions of dollars gonna do or paid off debt gonna do if you don't have your health, right? Like there's no point in that. So one thing that I think people often overlook because they're being such minimalists on everything, like cutting everything out of their lives, that they, they overlook their health. So let me give you an example of that, okay? So like, let's say you were to go to like, on your grocery bill, you say, I wanna save money on my groceries. So instead of going to Whole Foods to buy your food, like actual real food, and, and I qualify that as, did it walk on the earth at one point, right? Or did it grow from the earth? Though That's real food. If it didn't do those things, don't put it in your mouth, okay? But let's say instead of going to Whole Foods or some good establishment, you go to a lower end place where you can fill your cart up with crap, absolute garbage, what they call food, processed, made in factories, it's not real, right? And you, you buy this stuff. Well, where do you think your, your health is gonna be in 10 years after eating that stuff, right? We don't think about that right now today. We're like thinking about a, a lower uh, grocery bill. But in 10 years of eating this, where's your health gonna be? You know, you gotta look forward. You gotta future cast a little bit and see what's, what's, what's the future gonna be like if I make this decision today, what's my future gonna be? So one thing I will you know, caution you against is, you know, obviously your finances are important and I don't wanna control your checkbook. Okay, that's your job. But when I make a buying decision, I look at it and say, is this going to benefit me or my family? And if it is in a positive way, it's going to improve the way that we either conduct our health, our business, our, um, our even happiness, right? Because I think the problem with the Dave Ramsey stuff is that everything is taken away that gives you like happy now, right? And you're suspending your happiness now for later happiness. And I mean, frankly, who wants to do that? Now, I'm not saying be irresponsible about it, but who wants to do that? We all want to have our cake and eat it too, right? So if we can find ways to do that, that's that's what we should do. So when you when you're in the office, if you come in the office or anywhere, make sure that you make decisions like that based on is it going to help? Is it going to keep me healthy, number one, is it gonna do good things for me and my family, right? So like we don't suspend our gym membership because we're trying to save money. We want to be healthy, we wanna enjoy life, right? That's what it's all about. I don't wanna be, you know, my debt paid off at 68 and then, oh, oh, now I can start living. That's completely insane to me. So I'm not saying go get yourself in a lot of credit card debt or, or you know, bad debt, but at the end of the day, do things that make you healthy and help your life be improved, right? So anyway, think about that when you're thinking about um, your current health care or what we sometimes refer to sick care. Like we want to do things that keep our bodies healthy, right? Not just taking things after we have a problem. So if you're thinking about, you know, chiropractic care and you're, and you're worried about the cost, you know, think about where am I going to be in, in five or ten years if I'm keeping my body healthy? Am I gonna be able to play with the grandkids? Am I gonna be able to get on the floor and do puzzles with them? Um, so that's what I want you to think about is just future cast that out a little bit and see where your body is and where your mind's at. So anyway guys, Dr. Lobaz, have a fantastic day. I'll see you soon, goodbye.